my messenger. I'm not my spirit. My mistress with a monster is in love. Near her close and consecrated vow. While she was in her dove and sleeping out, a crew of patches moved the cannibals to work the bread upon a Syrian tool, were met together to rehearse the play intended for great Theseus. Not to say, the shallow and thick skin of that barren sort, who Pyramus presented in their sport, forsook his scene and entered in a break, when I did him a disadvantage take. An ass's knob, I fixed upon his head, anon his sissy must be after it. And fourth, my name is come. <laughs> when they him spy, as wild geese at the creeping fowl arise, or rutted pasty chuck, many in sort, rising and coring at the dumb support, heaven fell, and madly sweep the sky, and at this sight, away their fellows fly, and at our stamp, the earth, and o'er one fall, and mercer cries, and help, from Athens call. Their sense, thus sweet, made their fears, thus strong, Called senseless things begin to do them wrong. The fires and storms of their apparel snatch. Some hats, some yielded, all things catch. I led them on in this distracted fear, and then, sweet Pyramus, translated there. So in that moment, so it came to pass, he can't you wait and straightway love? Oh, no. <laughs> this falls out better than I could survive. Hast thou lashed the Athenian's eyes? With the love you so busy do, I took some sleeping that is finished too, and the Athena woman by his side, so when he wakes by four, she must be I. Stand close, this is the same Athenian. Aye, this is the woman, but not this the man. But why refuse you him that loves you so? They breath the bitter on your face, of Now I could try, but I should use these words. For thou, I fear, hast given me cause to curse. If thou hast slain my standard in his sleep, being our shoes in blood, come to the deep and kill me too. Come was not so true unto the day, and he to me. Would he have stolen away his sleeping hernia? I believe it too. This whole earth may be bored, and but the moon makes his ascendancy. She so to sleep, her brother's new time to the antipodes. It cannot be that thou hast murdered him, so should a murderer look so dead. And so should the murdered look, and so should I, pierced in half with your dumb cruelty. Yet you, the murderer, look as bright as sin, as yonder Venus in her glimmering sin. What's this to my life, Sandra? Where is he? Could Demetrius, what thou give him me? I'd rather be with carcass to my house. And stop! <laughs> and curse! How bright as he passed the sound of maiden's patience. Have thou slain him then? Henceforth we never numbered among men. Oh, one Tell truth for my sake. Sir thou and look upon him being awake. Perhaps thou killed him sleeping. Oh, to his great touch. He's not a worm. An abbot do so much. An abbot did it with double as tongue. Then thine, thou certain, never abbot son. You spend your passion on a mistyped moon, but I am not guilty of my dying blood. Nor is he dead, for all that I can tell. I pray thee, tell me then that he is well. And uh, so uh, what should I get there for? A privilege never to see me more, and from thy hated presence part I so. See me no more, but if he be dead or no. There is no following her in this fierce thing, but here therefore for a while I will remain. So sorrow and heaviness got heavier grow, and death of bankrupt beats of sorrow, and in some more small measure it will pay. If for his tender here, I make him. What hast thou done? Thou hast mistaken quite, and they've loved you some true love's son. <coughs> the fatal rules that one man holding from a million there, confounded, oath to us. A foul the woman, go swifter than the wind. Heller of Athens looks out fine. By some illusion, bring her here, and I'll charm her eyes against you to appear. I go, I go, look how I go, swifter than thou, for the public. <laughs> Flower of his purple dye, hit by Cupid's archery, when thou wakest she be by, beg of her for remedy. Counsel of our fairy band, Eleanor is here at hand, and the youth mistook by me, pleading for another speed. Shall we therefore pack and see? Lord, what fools these mortals be. Silence while the noise they make will cause Demetrius to awake. And why should you think I should woo and scold? Scorn and derision never. 
and the coming tears. Look, when I vow, I weep, and vows so born, in their nativity, all truth appears. How can these things seem scorned to you, bearing the badge of faith to prove them true? Would you do advance your cunning more and more, when truth tells truth, O devilish holy prey? These vows are hardly as will you not give her all. Wait, oath with oath, and you will nothing wait. Your vows to her and me, when can you scale, for both my teeth and flesh and tail? I had no judgment when to her I swore, for none in my mind now you give her all. The mistress loves her. He loves not you. Oh, hell! <coughs> Daughter, slim, perfect, divine. To what my love shall I compare thine eyes? Crystal is money. Oh, how right be so. My lips, those kissing chariots, tempting me. Oh, let me kiss this seal of lips, this princess of pure life. Oh, wait! Oh, hell! I see your old bent. Confess against me for your merriment. If you were civil and you courtesy, do not do me that much injury. Can you not hate me as I know you do? You must join your soul to mock me too. And if you were men, as men you are in show, do not you the gentle lady so, to bow and swear and to praise my heart, when I know you hate me with all your heart. You're both rivals, and not am you. Now both rivals to mock Helena, a true exploit, a manly enterprise. Should I hit her? Strike her? Or kill her dead? 
Well, though I hate her, I'm not harm her, though. Demetrius, speak thou now. 
Here, villain, drawn and ready. Where art thou? I will be with thee straight. Follow me then to play the ground. Lysander, speak again. Thou run away, thou coward. Art thou fled? Speak. In some books, where dost thou hide thy head? Thou coward, art thou bragging to the stars, telling the bushes that thou lookst for war, yet wilt not come? Come, child, come, recreant! I'll hit thee with a rod, thou art defiled to draw the sword on thee. Art thou there? Follow my voice, we'll try no man's hood here. <laughs> he goes before me, yet still dares me on. When I come where he calls, then he is gone. The villain is much faster hailed than I. I followed fast, but faster did he fly. That fallen am I in dark, uneven way. I'll dress me here. Come thou, gentle day. For if but once you show me thy grey light, I'll, I'll find Demetrius and avenge this fight. <laughs> ho, ho, coward. Why come thou not? Abide me if thou dare, for when I want, thou run the fall. Shift thee every place, and death not stand, nor look me in the face. Where art thou now? One more, two of those kind makes up four. <laughs> Here she comes, curts and sad, Cupid of the navy flag, just to make four females mad. <coughs> never so weary, never so anyone. <laughs> 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 On the ground, sleep sound, I'll apply to your eye, gentle mother, remedy, so when thou wake, thou take true delight in the sight of thy for lady life, and the country for her own, every man shall have his own. Jack shall have Jill, Lord shall go ill, the man shall have his hair again, and all shall be well. <laughs> Thank you. 
is the true beginning of our end. Consider then we come but in despite. We do not come as minding to content you. Aren't you intended? All for your delight. We do not come to hear you come repent you. The acts are at hand by their show. You will know all that you are about to know. This fellow doth not stand upon point. He has a rigid prologue like a rough colt. A good moral, my lord. It is not enough to speak, but to speak the truth. Indeed, what takes on his prologue like a child and a recorder? A sound, but not in government. He has released his prologue like a tangled chain. Nothing impaired, but all disordered. Gentle, perchance you wonder at a show. Well, wonder long till truth makes all things plain. This man is careless, if you would know. Oh, hit me for the heart. 
Thank you. 